Filmmaker James Fox, with such hits as The Phenomena and Moment of Contact, has released a new clip from his new documentary titled The Program. Comes out summer 2024. Let's take a look at this clip, get some more details about James Fox's upcoming documentary. I don't know about you, but I am super excited about it. So let's dive in, y'all. If you're new to the channel and you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button. Put our new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not miss a day. And please like the videos, y'all. That really helps out. So thank y'all so much for the support there, vetters. Of course, comment down below. What do you think about James Fox's new documentary that's coming out? What do you hope to see in it? And what do you think of this clip that we're showing? Let's dive in. Before we get to the clip, though, I do want to say real quick, we uh, just launched our Discord server. So please make sure and check out the link in the description. Go check it out. We just launched it. Let's get everyone in there. We'll get some feedback. We'll make some adjustments if we need to. Shout out to Daniel Clancy, who sh set this whole thing up. So props to him. It's absolutely amazing. And can't wait to see everybody in there and have some great conversations. All right. Again, link in the description. Let's jump into this clip. Okay, James Fox. Um, let's start here says, I am in the edit room working on the last seven minutes rough cut of my new documentary, The Program. I wanted to share a brief statement from Representative Tim Burchett as he and a handful of others continue to fight for government transparency on UFOs, UAP. High five emoji. Uh, I love that emoji. I use it all the time. I thought it was more like a prayer but it's like a high five, so I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's watch the clip. And I got a few other details we'll get into after this. Certain unacknowledged special access programs appear to be operating outside congressional oversight, yeah. including the Gang of Eight. What are we doing about this? Is this allowed under the Constitution? I don't know if it's allowed or not. Um, until we slapped her little fat hand. Congress needs to, though, assert their, their role as the, um, the country's checkbook or government's checkbook and start looking at these departments that are withholding things and just run a red line through them, just get rid of them. It's clear to me that they are obstructing not justice, just the truth. Uh, they just continue the disinformation. Certain unacknowledged special access programs. You know, anytime you take your glasses off after saying something, it's serious. Okay, y'all, I'm just saying. No, I love that. Um, you know, <laughs> that's how you do it. Um, look, let's be real. Um, this James Fox documentary is supposed to include first-hand whistleblowers that have never been heard from before. So... I think that's what a lot of people are interested in because it's titled the program right meaning the crash retrieval slash reverse engineering program of extraterrestrials right because we do have crash retrieval programs that's existed for a long time where we go collect foreign data foreign material from our adversaries right our earthly adversaries um, so it's taking it a step further. There's a crash retrieval for ETs. Um, and yeah, this program, right? These first hand whistleblowers are supposed to come out and testify again. These are from what I've heard. These are whistleblowers who have not been seen before. All right. So these are going to be new people. Now how they're shown, if they're actually shown their face, they give their name, everything that I don't know. All right. Uh, but supposedly they've all testified to Arrow, the, the same whistleblowers. Um, and from also what I've heard, they're not necessarily the same whistleblowers like Jeremy Corbell has. They're kind of stovepiped in that way, right? Because you've got some people that trust Stephen Greer. They go to Stephen Greer, however you feel about him. You've got some people that trust James Fox. They go to James Fox, however you feel about him. Then you got some people that go to Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp. Again, however you feel about it. And some of them know each other and some of them don't, which is interesting. So we'll see. I'm personally super excited for this documentary coming out. 
I'm being honest. I love James Fox's approach to this topic. I interviewed him one time uh, about moment of contact. And that's what made me launch this channel, essentially. You know, that's what sent me over the over the lip, if you will, to like, okay, I really want to look into this, right? Um, so yeah, I'm more than excited for this documentary because regardless, it will be well produced and well put together and you know, it will be fascinating. Um, so I'm curious to see what all they include in it besides firsthand whistleblowers and what sort of the approach James has never taken this sort of government approach, right? The way the government's handling it. Um, so that should be interesting. So be kind of a different step for him because he stated to me that in our interview, I remember him saying when he first started out, it was like close encounters, you know, keeping it from the third kind, I guess, if I'm, if I'm saying that right, or the first kind, or the first kind, right? Just kind of seeing stuff. Then it became getting closer to the crap, right? And you know what I mean? It just kept getting closer for him until moment of contact when he's actually talking about an alien being and people interacting with it, right? Um, it doesn't get much closer than that. Um, and now moving into this step, right? The actual people who worked on these programs that we talk about all the time, right? All the time. It is it completely dominates the UFO community and understandably so are these programs that the American government this coffee, y'all. Uh, the American government talks about, right? Or supposedly is hiding. And as well as advanced aerospace companies, right? Having um, some of these programs as well. So, you know what? Now that I'm saying that, you know, some of these first-hand whistleblowers could be from that, right? Could be from Lockheed or whatever. Um, I think showing your face at that point, you'd probably lose your job. I'm curious. I mean, I'm curious. If they're still in the program, I don't know how you show your face and give your name. And do a documentary, right? So are these people that have been out of the program? You know, James has been known to film people, you know, with their back turned, kind of disguising their voice a little, you know, so maybe there'll be some of that. I don't know. I think everybody wants to see this and wants to know uh, who they are. So anyway, um, let's look at a few other comments real quick that I thought were interesting. So right here, UFO Sarah, she says, so the end of your documentary is Representative Burchett saying they are continuing the fight. Just the tip of the iceberg, my friend. Things that I cannot share just yet that will be included in the film, including firsthand eyewitness testimony that will blow your mind. Well, there we go, y'all. Now we need this to come out. Right, we need our minds blown. Let's go. Um, and what will happen as a result of of that? Right, what will happen at, as a result of these whistleblowers coming out? Will there be some sort of political pressure um, put on? And look, before anybody says, "Hey, why are you going to put save the whistleblowers for a documentary?" Like, I get your point. I will remind you that Edward Snowden was in a documentary. I believe it won an Oscar, right, about his whistleblowing. So it does happen, right? There is a precedent, and it does happen. And no, I didn't hear anybody complaining about that. So, again, I'm not, again, I'm very much looking forward to this documentary and seeing who's in it, what it's about. It will tell a nice story, right? probably a good narrative that people can then use to tell the story themselves to other people, right? Let's be real. Other people that aren't in the community or new to all of this, right? But want to find out more. This will probably be a great documentary for them to watch. And that takes time. And, and I can appreciate that. I can be patient, with, you know, for that. I mean, look, if you're in this topic and you're not patient, you, you won't last five seconds. I mean, that's just the truth. If you're coming in going, okay, where, where, give it, give me the truth now. It's not going to happen. And look, I get it. If you've been in it for years and years and years and decades, some of y'all, I get it. Maybe you've seen this sort of actions before and you know, you, you want more answers. I totally understand. 
The only thing I would say is um, I would caution those of you that have been in this topic a long time, not saying some of you I've noticed like to put down or, you know, disparage people that don't have as much knowledge as you do or haven't been in the fight as long as you therefore they're not important or their opinion isn't important or why don't they know this person or why don't they know this event or you know let, let's let's all just t you know do what you want of course just saying unsolicited advice here well, let's pump the brakes on that instead of disparaging them say let me help you Here's some books you can read or here's some knowledge. Instead of being like, how do you not know that, you idiot? I can't trust anyone that doesn't know this person. What? You realize the thousands of people in events and stories and books and documentaries. It's anyone saying they know it all and have read everything, seen every day is lying. That's impossible. You, you wouldn't. There was literally not enough time to do that. You know, and everyone's got a different line of what they include in their bubble of information. Right. Depending how how far you want to stretch that out. Some people are just nuts and bolts. Some people are into the woo. Some people are into all bo both and then go past further than that. Right. The bubble of information is larger. So let's just pump the brakes. Let's be a little more diplomatic with each other, understanding. And again, we're all in different rungs of the ladder on this journey. And it's not going to be the same for everybody. Some people don't have the time you may have if you have all this knowledge. Some people might work a bunch of jobs, have kids, have families, have whatever they're doing. Other interests, you know? So that's all I'm saying. I think, um, and, and again, it's pretty minimal, but I'm seeing it more and more. And again, I can understand people's frustration if they've been in this a long time, right? Just following this topic for a long time. I, I get it. I, I do I completely get it. I mean, you can see people that have been at six months frustrated. Imagine, you know, 40 years or something, you know? Um, so I totally understand. Um, all right. I think, um, I think that's it. Y'all look that that's, you know, I got much more to say again, James Fox documentary coming out August. Um, well, late summer, 2024. That was the last news of that. Um, and the big thing we know is just firsthand whistleblowers. That, that's the big thing that's going to be in this. Again, it's titled a program never before seen interviews. People that have never before come out are going to be in this documentary. Now, what that means, I mean, according to James Fox, it will blow your mind. It's just the tip of the iceberg here, right? So yeah, find that fascinating. Let's go. So again, y'all, please check out the Discord server. Again, link in the description. Again, shout out to Daniel Clancy for getting that all set up. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, and let's just jump in and see how it goes, right? So basically, like any photos, videos that you send me normally, and a lot of you do that, stories you have, that's what the Discord's for. It's free to join. It's completely free. You don't need to be a part of Patreon. You don't need to be a part of anything. You don't even need to be a subscriber on YouTube, right, to the channel. You can just go to the Discord server, but there is a place for you to submit all of that stuff. You know, your photos, your videos, personal stuff you've personally taken, right, that you wanna share. Absolutely, Let's. so now we have a place where all that can get shared, let's grow that and have everyone comment on it and absolutely, and if there's anything that sort of rises to the top, I'll cover it on the channel, 100%. Also, there's a place for resources, right? I get sent so many links, documentaries, books, you name it, files, whatever the thing may be for me to check out that place for it right there, right? And then we got our main chat where just every other thing goes. And every video that gets posted on YouTube automatically gets posted there so people can come on it, comment, comment on it there. Uh, <laughs> slip of the tongue there. Um, <laughs> Jeez, I won't repeat that. Holy. Uh, <laughs> oh, y'all. Woo. I needed that. That was funny. Um, so anyway, yes, very much looking forward to the conversation inside of Discord with everybody. I'm new to Discord. I don't know what's going on, but Daniel and other people are going to be helping run that and make sure that it goes smoothly. Um, so, 
Yes. And if there's any, um, yeah, anyway, you know, get going there. Again, it's free. And if you want to join our Patreon, again, we meet once a week on Saturdays. We just shoot the shit about UFOs in a Zoom call, private Zoom call, and just hang out. We all see each other, right? Videos on it. Like, we all just talk it. It's great. The time flies by, if I'm being honest. Two hours just flies by. It may not even be enough time. But I bring, this past week, I brought a special guest. Um, you know, I definitely give a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. I'm pretty much an open book, you know. I talk a lot about stuff coming up on Vetted or other stuff that's, you know, I'm working on, whatever. So it's a cool place to just hang out and talk UFOs with like-minded people. And we got people with all kinds of beliefs in there. That's the beauty of it. And we all civilly have a conversation. You know, that's that's the most wonderful part um, of it. So, yes. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Not sure exactly what that is, um, but I've got some interviews this week. So I know a couple of the videos this week are going to be interviews, and that will be awesome. So, um, all right, y'all. Well, we'll see you on tomorrow's video. Remember, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. As always, y'all, remember, every day's a gift. <laughs>